the 2003 season of Run It Back had some wild highlights and another one of those upset champions. But of course, we have to go through the other nine highlights of the season, so without further ado, let's go see what were the top 10 highlights of Run It Back 2003 season. At Homestead, Jeff Burton blew up in front of the field and caused a massive wreck and even he went airborne and went for a wild ride on the backstretch. Jeff Burton luckily walked away from the crash and continued in the next week. At Richmond, the 43 and the 0 got together and Jimmy Johnson went into the open pit wall in Richmond. Jimmy Johnson did walk away alright and the winner of this race was Mark Martin. It's always chaos in Bristol, and this time Johnny Benson got turned by Adam Petty, causing a big wreck in turn three, and Benson went up and over. But luckily, he did walk away okay, and continued on the race. Another big wreck in North Wilkesboro. Ward Burton got turned by Jerry Nadu, went back up into the field into Jerry Nadu, and then Ward Burton went upside down. He slid all the way into turn four, and he could not continue into the race. In Sears Point, Kevin Harvick went up the bank and into the fence, causing him to flip over one singular time. And then a similar wreck happened about two laps later with Mark Martin. He went up the hill, into the fence, and flipped over a couple times himself. Indianapolis always has chaos, and Penske got together, causing themselves to flip. Mayfield and Rusty Wallace went for wild rides. Everyone was alright. Indianapolis never fails in a run back. The Daytona 500 winner was Rusty Wallace with Earnhardt Jr. and Steve Park. Earnhardt, you're rounding out your top four. Adam Petty having a championship hangover, it seems like, winning only twice in 2003, but the 45 team has high hopes for 2004. Mark Martin and the number six Viagra team for Roush went on a dominant run winning six different times in the season at various different tracks. Although this team was consistent and had a great season in 2003, there was one other driver who had just that season just a little bit better, just like last season, and again, it was an upset champion. And that driver was... Jimmy Johnson in his sophomore season in the 43 RPE car. For the second season in a row, a sophomore takes the title and for Richard Petty Enterprises. Now Jimmy Johnson's team for the Cheerios number 43 has even higher hopes for 2004 and are hoping to recreate their same success like they did this season. It was an upset, but the fans sure did love it. 2003 was a good season for Run It Back. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you guys for joining me for Run It Back 2003 and I will see you guys next time.